Hi there, I'm Erica Douglas and welcome to the sixth video in our Become a Mum Blogger video series. This is what we've covered already and today we're going to talk about social media uh, in the context of blogging of course. So the three main social media sites I want to cover today are Twitter, uh, Facebook and YouTube and then at the end of the video I'm going to briefly go over uh, some of the other social media sites too. So Twitter first, uh, it's sometimes described as a micro-blogging site. You basically write messages that are 140 characters long, so it's very much like texting. Um, and basically you can connect with lo a lot of people. Um, Twitter now has almost a quarter of a billion uh, tw uh, tweeters. Um, so it's still behind Facebook, but it's growing rapidly. Um, it's still a business that's uh, less than five years old. Um, the site's less than five years old um, and it's just it's growing really, really quickly. And there's a big community of mum bloggers on there, which is why I'm talking about it today. So you can start a Twitter account for free. Just go to www.twitter.com, sign up for a free account and you can start uh, tweeting straight away. I'm going to show you one of the tools um, that I use to manage uh, Twitter, which is TweetDeck. So I'm going to flip the screen and here is my tweet deck. It looks kind of complicated, um, but basically you write your messages up here. These are, I've got actually got four different Twitter accounts. Um, you don't have to have four, <laughs> but you might find that eventually you do have um, multiple Twitter accounts for different businesses or different blogs. You write your message in here and, um, and basically you, you press send and it will appear here. So this is all of my friends, so this is the whole stream of conversation that's going on. And then I've got mentions, which are the people that are specifically talking to me, uh, which are these people here, so I know who's left a message for me. And there's my other ones as well, so they're my business account. So these are the two main ones here. And Twitter's really good, as I've said, for networking and becoming more a part of the community. And sometimes people say to me, oh, I don't know what to what I would tweet about. But basically, um, you're having a conversation and I treat it a bit like a coffee morning. So uh, when I'm having my 11s is um, like my coffee, my uh, my uh, snack at 11 o'clock, I'll come into TweetDeck and I'll have a little chat with anybody who's on at the time. I might also promote um, my products uh, in my business side and also my blog posts. Um, and it's a great way to find new readers, to connect with people that you're interested, that you have the same interests as. Um, and it's just really, really great. Um, I really love Twitter. I think it's a great um, social media site, which is why it's grown, I think, so quickly. It's really easy to become part of a network. And when you're at home and perhaps you're quite lonely or you've got children at home um, and you're not part of the workforce, um, it's just a really great place to come and have a little chat and feel connected to a whole other bunch of people. And as I said, it's great for promoting your blog too. So definitely jump in. I'm at Erica on Twitter. So if you want to tweet with me, that would be great. And um, if you want to tweet with Brit Mums, you can. And they're at Brit Mums. In fact, here's Jennifer, one of the uh, members of Brit Mums, one of the organisers, at J Howes, H-O-W-Z-E. So, and oh, actually there's the other member of uh, <laughs> Brit Mums that happens to be on as well, which is A Modern Mother. So she's at A Modern Mother. Um, so definitely jump on there. Uh, you know, it's just one of those things. It's trial and error. Just jump right in and um, you'll soon get into the swing of that. So that's the first uh, major social media site I wanted to talk about. And the next one is uh, Facebook. So I don't need to really show you Facebook because I'm sure um, everybody's a member of Facebook already. Um, but basically, um, it's whether you have your own personal page on Facebook or whether you decide to have a page for your blog. Um, I've always stuck with just my personal page on Facebook, but I know a lot of people have started um, groups or specific pages for their blog, and uh, that's absolutely valid to do that if you've got a growing blog and you want um, to keep them separate, which is understandable. Um, and Facebook is great because, again, you can promote your, if you have a separate page, you can promote your blog posts, you can pr promote your events, anything that you're doing via your blog. Um, and it's just a great way to, again, build your community, build your readers, and drive traffic back to your blog. The third one I wanted to talk about was YouTube. Um, so I'm going to click on to YouTube. Um, this is my YouTube account. And YouTube is great. So um, if you don't know, uh, this is basically a video sharing site. And um, 
video is really big in blogging at the moment. So you might choose to do reviews, uh, videos, um, you know, all sorts of different videos, you talking, it could be an interview, it could be you on a specific day out, all different reasons why you might want to do a video. So to start video blogging, you will need a handheld digital camera. And usually these come with um, uh, a USB attached and editing software attached. So once you buy the actual camera, you don't need anything else. And you plug it, the, you take your video. So basically it's just a point and shoot. So you point at whatever you're trying to video, press the red button usually, record your video, and then you uh, click a little button and you click the USB into the side of your computer and you upload to YouTube. And basically you click this button here and um, I mean obviously once you've, you get the com you get the video onto your computer first and then you upload it from your computer sorry if that was a little bit vague uh, you click here upload a video and you can choose a video from um, your files and it's really simple it's YouTube is free to use again free to start up an account um, once you've got your videos on there I'll show you my videos uh, it's great because it's another way to reach people. Um, so uh, some of my videos have got quite a few views, others have got less, so I've been vi videoing a while. So um, this was one I did about a review on oatmeal bath. Um, as you can see, 15, uh, sorry, 1500 views of that one. So each person that comes to that video in, uh, I, I will actually say, look, uh, this video is for littlemummy.com. So every, every time a person views a video, they're having the option to come back and visit your blog and learn a bit more about you. And as you can see, 2,400 views, it's a good way to um, gain traffic to your blog, um, attract people that are interested in whatever you're videoing about. Now, I tend to video about all sorts of random things, um, but if you have a specific theme for your blog, then you will probably uh, stick to the theme uh, the niche and you'll attract the right sort of people that kind of be a, end up being a bit random but um, that's just me <laughs> um, so that's YouTube uh, really easy to use again it's just a case of trial and error but very simple really um, so I'm going to talk about a few of the other um, sites now and I'm going to start with StumbleUpon so StumbleUpon is basically a site where you, you can ha either have the toolbar or you can do it live from their site and you can go through websites and thumbs up. So you, you're, giving, you're giving a thumbs up to particular sites. And the more thumbs up a site gets, the more times um, that stumble upon um, drive traffic to that particular site. And it's one of those sites you need to go on to really understand how it works. But basically you can go on there and you can surf sites that other people have thumbs up to. Um, and basically, if the more people that thumbs up a site, the more times that particular site is served to stumble upon surfers. Hopefully makes that make some sort of sense to you. Um, but yeah, it can drive an awful lot of traffic. It was a lot more popular a couple of years ago. Um, uh, so I don't know what the traffic levels are like now if you get thumbs up. But if you fancy surfing some cool sites, then you can click on there and have a look. Or you can start your own stumble upon group or whatever. LinkedIn, most people know about LinkedIn. Um, it's more for professionals, which is why I haven't really put it as one of the major sites to discuss today. Um, but most bloggers do have a LinkedIn profile, specifically when they start to grow their blogs and their blogs become businesses, or they start um, speaking, or they start creating their own products, then um, they'll have a LinkedIn profile. Google Plus, that's the new one. It's like Facebook, um, but obviously uh, owned and run by Google. Um, so worth checking that one out because um, I think that's probably going to be big in, over the next couple of years. If uh, if the um, social media gurus are to be believed, then that's the next big thing. Dig, uh, again, is a bit like StumbleUpon. You can rate uh, blogs and blog posts, and the best blog posts go to the, f the top of the, the leaderboard, if you like, and the people at the top of the leaderboard obviously get a lot of views. Curtsy is exactly the same, but more aimed towards women. And Delicious, used to be Del Isio Us, uh, that is a, a social bookmarking website. So you can bookmark sites that interest you and you can view the sites that other people have marked as interesting within your group. So each of these social media sites, um, they kind of fulfill a different function and they do a different thing. Um, I wouldn't worry about the ones on the right, really, if you're just starting out. If you're just starting out, then perhaps you would... Um, choose one one of the big three to start off with either Twitter Facebook or YouTube so if you're really into video 
go for YouTube. Um, if you're feeling a little bit nervous and you're not sure how to start with the social media, but you've got a Facebook account already, give Facebook a go, build your confidence. And um, I, I would say that of the three, for mum blogging or parent blogging, Twitter is the main one. Um, there's a really strong mum blogging community on Twitter. So if you want to gain traffic, if you want to be a part of the community, um, Twitter is the place to be. Okay, that's all I'm going to discuss today on social media. I hope that that was um, helpful for you. Um, so I'll be back next week with our seventh video in the series. Thanks for watching.